The Nigerian economy, some say only the bravest of hearts can wither its storms. Low to middle income earners frequently struggle to keep up with ever increasing bills and hyperinflation. When it's time to send children back to school after a holiday, Nigerian parents who educate their children in public school have an additional reason to lose sleep. No, we are not referring to just the school fees, but the additional hidden costs weaved into the fabric of the fees so expertly that many parents insist that it amounts to extortion. The question is, who is responsible for this? The school or the government? AD4 TV radio set out to investigate the reported cases of extortion in schools. Mohamed Adomu, a parent who spoke to the crew, said the extortion parents are facing is as a result of the economic situation in the country. He added that the issue is worrisome because they have to pay more in order for the awards to have all the needed materials for smooth learning. Adamu said this comes as an additional burden to parent. Uh, I know as at last time, that about uh, perhaps eight months back, uh, before the new session starts, you know, I think I could remember I paid about uh, 15000 per child for just textbooks. But now I was asked to pay about 18000 plus. So this is an, an increase. Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe it has to do with the rising cost of materials in our country now. See, not only food has been uh, on the high rise, but also virtually everything is on the high rise. So it has affected even the books you are buying for your kids to continue studies. This problem is not new in other parts of the country. Reports on extortion in schools were published in the Guardian newspaper, revealing that the Ondo state government warned head teachers of public schools to desist from extorting parents and guardians through additional fees and hidden costs. The FCT being a model capital city is assuming to be immune to many of the vices that plague other states. However, extortion has found a way to rear its ugly head even in Abuja. The PTA chairman of Federal Government Boys College, Apo, Mr. Oke Odemba, said the issue is of great concern to parents. The schools involved are blaming rising operational costs and inflation, which have affected the prices of commodities and instructional materials. He added that the federal government should find creative ways to make education affordable. The challenge I have, what, why would federal government want to put school fees and books together and force you to go and pay it under TSA? If I have a son, in just two and i have one in just three and they are using the same book this one was promoted to ss1 why can't my son in ss just two use the one the book the one in ss3 just three used it will help me and reduce cost for me but federal government through the Ministry of education made it now that we pay books you pay for books for please. books through tsa that means it's a must so what it means is that the one my son that's promoted to SS1 used, we've just used less because I'm coming up with new ones. James Chibuzo, a parent in the FCT, who also spoke to AD4 TV radio, said education is the bedrock of the society and there is a need for the government to intervene in this matter, even if it is found not to blame for the exploitative fees. He believes that education is no longer affordable to the ordinary Nigerian parents and the government needs to take swift action through better policies. Uh, education is uh, the responsibility of the government to make education more affordable to its citizens. So my plea to the government is that uh, they should take education like the basic rock of the country. Because if our children these days are not well educated, that means the future of the country is in jeopardy. As much as the availability, adequacy and relevance of instructional materials in the classroom can influence quality teaching and have positive effect on student learning and academic performance. Prices of teaching and aid items should be minimal so that parents can be encouraged to enroll their awards in schools.